Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to have a quick discussion regarding the next version of Windows, which may or may not be named Windows 12. For this video, I've gathered some information and we're going to try to put it all together and get a quick look of what we can expect in the next year, in the year 2024, in terms of Windows and if we may see a new version of Windows released in the next year. A quick disclaimer before talking about anything else, a lot of the info from this video is from Zach Bowden of Windows Central. Gustav Mons on Twitter, Phantomotion3 on Twitter, Panther on Twitter, so feel free to check out these guys on Twitter or on their platforms if you want to learn more about what they're doing and what other stuff they're sharing. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Windows 12 is not yet confirmed to be the final name. The code name for the next version of Windows is Hudson Valley. Also in August, developers and semesters switched from Gallium to Germanium with no build jumbo release branch. Gallium won't be used for any release, while Germanium is expected to be the platform for both major 2024 Windows releases, the client and also the server. Germanium development is expected to be forked into a release branch in late January, though this doesn't mean builds from the new branch will fly immediately after to Canary. Also internal development of Windows 12 is now in full swing, Intel CFO has teased a Windows Windows refresh in 24. Core PC is still in the works and will deliver state separation, faster updates and increased security among the big changes. It is still expected alongside the next version of Windows, but the platform changes will mean it's unlikely you can upgrade to Core PC, but a traditional desktop variant of Windows 12 is also in the works, which you should be able to upgrade to. Also it is expected to see more rust in the kernel tested in the Canary channel and possibly implemented into the next version of Windows. Windows 12 should include a lot of AI. As you can see Microsoft has already started to implement AI in Windows with the Windows Copilot AI Assistant, with the new Paint app, Photos app and more, but Windows 12 should include also a desktop background parallax feature, seeing text on the screen and providing contextual actions and more. Also the lock and login screens are expected to get an update likely to be more touch friendly and Windows 12 is expected to be more touch friendly than Windows 11, especially on the desktop and also on the file explorer. Also there is a possibility of even more UI updates. There's also the screenshot that is basically a prototype from the last year's Ignite conference with search and weather at the top as you can see here and also with a floating taskbar. Of course this is a prototype but who knows this could be implemented in a future version of Windows. Also it is expected that we will be able to pin widgets to the desktop in Hudson Valley as we were able in Windows Vista. Also the notification center may get an update to support grouping by people and of course more modern UI elements for consistency consistency as we are able to see in the new Canary channel builds. We could see Windows on REFS, which is unclear whether this will actually happen. And also we may see new versions of Windows as Sinopanther noticed some Windows WNC references that started showing up recently. And also there's a new Windows and Web Experiences team which will work on a special ladder version of a Windows Chrome OS competitor. So this is some info that we know right now. As I've said, Windows 12 is not confirmed to be the final name. So far, the name or the code name for the next Windows version is Hudson Valley, but maybe Microsoft will get on the trend and follow with Windows 12 after Windows 11. But we should expect a lot of AI inside the next version of Windows. Microsoft should implement AI more inside the system and hopefully it will be a pretty smooth integration with no issues and with no problems in resource usage. So we just have to wait until we'll get more info from Microsoft. But until now, this is all we have. Of course, as I said at the beginning, Thanks to Zach Bowden from Windows Central, Gustav Mons, Sino Panther, Phantom Machine 3 on Twitter. You can follow all these guys on Twitter if you're interested to see more on what news they are sharing. So this was the video for today. I'm hoping to see your opinion in the comments below. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.